Hi everybody, welcome back to White Louie Soaps. We are making a clean out soap, if you will. I have a bunch of colors that are already mixed up back here. So I would like to do a 12 color in the pot swirl. If you want to see that, just keep watching. I'm going to add in my powders. I have powdered milk. I have colloidal oatmeal and kale and clay. In my oils already, I have sodium lactate as well. So this is a full additive bar. The fragrance we're using is going to be black raspberry vanilla. Hit this with a stick blender to make sure it's good and incorporated. And we're going to get started. This is like beginner soaping with Penny. This is the first soap of the year. I haven't soaped in, oh boy, probably two months maybe longer <laughs> so might as well just go in huge right might as well go for a big one the idea here is just to use up what's left I don't want to throw it away and I figured why not we'll just use it all at once the fragrance oil I'm using behaves very well so I'm not concerned about that and you may hear some noise in the background my kids are downstairs it's a Friday night here In with my live solution. I'm just going to bring this to emulsification. I forgot how much I love making soap. I'm going to add in my cream. go ahead and put in my fragrance now. I know it behaves, so I'm not worried about it accelerating or anything. I won't be able to use my big stick blender for some of the smaller colors, so I do have my small little mixer here I like to use. You've seen in other videos. I just didn't feel like it was uh, men, uh, mixing in well. So we're gonna. Oh, I probably gotta be careful how much I actually add in these. Where okay. Ooh, this slurry here is a bit thick. I wouldn't want to. That's a lot of mica mixed in there. this off a little bit here. We're going to do an in the pot swirl. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour each color in its own spot. Save a little bit for the top. Thank you. 
Hopefully we don't get mud. <laughs> and that'll be alright if we do. I'm trying to decide if I should run my spoon through it. What do we do? What do we do? Do we leave it? Do I run the spoon through it or leave it, Lucas? Uh, leave it. Leave it, he says. Twelve colors. That's cool. Um, what are we going to do with this? I feel like we should move it around a little bit at least. Should we move it? That's it, my friends. Oh, you know what I said? I said we were going to do glitter, didn't I? Okay, well, we are going to add some mica to this. I have a super sparkle mica going to do just a smidge. I think that's it. I will bring you back for the cutting. Here it is, the 12 color in the pot swirl. This came out so good. As you can see here, I'm showing you the top and then here the side. The feather look on the side was really cool and that translated to the inside of the soap. I apologize for the lost footage in this. I inserted some pictures uh, to show you just how beautiful this soap is. You can see here, I'm moving it a little bit fast, um, but in the pictures you can actually see just the definition and how clear each color actually is. I did get a little bit of titanium uh, dots or, you know, unmixed in titanium dioxide. Uh, the first soap out of the gate, you know, it was a lot to take on. I was a little, little anxious, had a little anxiety there. But as you'll see, it, it, it really did come out quite stunning. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we upload. I'm really excited about getting back to soaping. It's been a long few months. I'm glad you joined me today. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye.